Can I tell you what I find suspicious as shit? That one of the areas affected by Hurricane Helene is the world's largest lithium deposit and the DOD just entered into an agreement with this company right here to mine lithium for electric cars starting in 2025. Now that area is completely devastated. This is a $90 million agreement between the DOD and this company right here to get Kings Mountain, North Carolina lithium mine up and running by 2030. If that area has been inundated, is in a disaster zone, then the government can come in and do eminent domain and they can pay you what it was worth five years ago rather than what it's worth right now. Imagine that your home has turned into a watery lot and the government comes to you and says, hey, I'll pay you what you paid for it. You're gonna take it and you're gonna go, right? What do you think's gonna happen right here now that they want this lithium mine up and running by 2025, 2030 at the latest? Back in 1947, we had the Florida Georgia hurricane or hurricane nine, and it was the first hurricane to be targeted for weather modification. What happened was General Electric's, the US Navy, the Army, the Air Force, they poured dry ice into this hurricane using airplanes to see what would happen. Would they slow it down? Well, what happened was it slowed down a little bit, but it turned west really sharp. Let me show you. This is the path that the hurricane took in 1947. Does it look similar to you? Probably not. It's a coincidence, right? Moving on. I'm sure this is just another coincidence, but do you know who owns the most shares in that lithium mine? BlackRock and Vanguard. 